As a footballer, Lee Roach was used to warming up in front of thousands, but these days he's warming houses, fitting cavity wall insulation. Roach joined Manchester United from school and went on to play for Burnley and Wrexham. So, did he ever expect this career change? Definitely not. You think, um, especially when you sign at the club that's so big as Man United, you think that um, you're going to be playing football for, well, till you're 35, maybe over. Um, the way things have turned out, it's um, turned out this way for me that I have had to work been working here now nearly three years and yeah it's a bit of a change from playing football but it's something that you just have to get on with. Roach left the full-time game at the age of 27 and he admits that like others he didn't have a plan B for life after football. I can always speak from my experience where I've come out of the game and then had to sort of think what do I do now. Um, I did okay at school, I worked hard at school but I never really had a sort of a plan what I wanted to go into. Um, I found myself in this job just to hopefully get by and hopefully retrain and to get into coaching or something that I enjoy more doing. Roach's predicament will come as a warning to some and the players union, the PFA, are keen for players to act upon it. It's like many players, they don't see their careers coming to an end and it's not until they get into the twilight of their careers that they suddenly think, what am I going to do now? What qualifications have I got to enable me to move into another career? I try to stress when I'm speaking to the players and my colleagues within the education department do exactly the same, that the earlier they start uh, preparing for life after football, the less pressure they're going to be under when their footballing careers eventually come to an end. So football might carry players like Roach so far, but now, He'll have to move along the career ladder once again.